The American Midwest and its industrial cities, there's, there's a relationship to work. It can be a kind of work ethic. There is a relationship to a, a kind of respect, a kind of uh, respect to other artists, to other people, to difference that happens here. Um, and there's the possibilities. I think it's, it's really the freedom that the Midwest offers is what uh, is extraordinary to me. I think the most important thing is that it's an international school and I think that it's an environment where it brings uh, an amazing student body that is very global. One of the things that's unique about SAIC is its open curriculum and what we call interdisciplinarity. Each student has to define their own problems, articulate their own solutions, and figure out what matters most to them. It's a playground. I think it can be a really fun and exciting place. It's not like a factory where you go in and you come out as a product, but it's something that kind of stays with you for a long time. It's really lovely walking to school every day and passing the museum. It's totally gorgeous. Like there's a back door from my classes right into the museum. Like I cut through sometimes just to like get to different buildings. Our buildings run on either side of the galleries and so you cut through the museum in order to get there. Just about every artist who went here has a story about passing an object in that walk or seeing something in one of their classes that arrested them, that made them think about things differently. That can only happen with the daily exposure to art that a museum school allows. One interesting thing about the SAIC that uh, I guess doesn't get discussed that much is how it really exists at the heart of the loop how it doesn't really have a campus in the traditional sense. So there's an integration of, of the art practice with the lived life, you know, or the, or the, the living, working life uh, of the city that, um, that, I, that at least for me was really important. Chicago is really unique in that it has a lot of different communities that artists can get involved in. A lot of times we have apartment galleries in Chicago and that's what makes it unique as well. Being an artist is really about being a part of a community anyway. And that's one of those kind of skills of learning how to work with other people and learning how to expand your horizons is really important to the, the potential of being able to thrive as an artist. Chicago's art scene has both a commercial level but also a strong non-commercial level. And so we find that many students are able to have new opportunities by developing their own practices, startup galleries, new curatorial projects and the like. Unlike other models for art education in which you commit to one medium, commit to one set of ideas, SAIC allows students the freedom to figure out things differently, to create new hybrids. Uh, sometimes they move through the pathways in such a way that they do commit to a medium or they do commit to one set of ideas, but there's no one way. And one of the things that's so interesting about SAIC is that we have a structure that allows students to be the artist, be the designer, be the thinker, be the person that they want to be.